Right. So if you take a broad view of the whole value chain from the direct material is extracted from the ground, then it's getting shipped, then it arrives somewhere else and it moves on. Um, companies and participants need to interact with each other. They need to agree deals, sign contracts, uh, agree purchase orders, invoice. Then there is the manifest of the board. Then there's all sorts of regulatory stuff people have to go through. So it goes from, first of all, at the very basic level, digitizing the people-to-people -people interaction for the small and medium type of businesses across shipping industry. But don't forget that the big game here is for any kind of company to grow in scale and to get orders from large uh, shipping uh, orders from large multinational companies. Uh, uh, I, I don't know. Let's say I'm inside a, a company that makes parts for the automotive industry. I want to be able to put bulk orders. The bigger the customer is, the more they will ask the company from India or UAE to be able to exchange a data feed. So Peter was talking about API before. If I'm a medium sized or large organization and I want to leverage a shipping partner from India or UAE, more and more, I will expect you to give me access to what is called an API or a file that I can grab from your system to inject in my ERP system. So more and more, uh, the world expects the shipping industry to be able to provide this type of, of data uh, that is digitized. So less and less emails or fax and paper and more and more data exchange or in the worst case situation to help a human being type a form online. And that form becomes an XML file or, or, or something that kind of on the other side. So that's how the first step of digitization I think should happen is how do you digitize the human to human interaction into something more automatic and, and digital.